Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about the solving of a problem on UJT relaxation oscillator or UJT sweep circuit. So an example problem is given like this. In the UJT sweep circuit VBB is equal to 20 volts and VYY is given as 50 volts. These are the two voltages we know already. The capacitor charges up to VYY that is up to 50 volts and VBB is given as 20 volts which is used for biasing the circuit, biasing the transistor UJT. And R is given as 5 kilo ohms, RB1, RB2 these are the two resistors that are the resistors of the UJT. Okay, because UJT is having two terminals of bases B1 and B2, so those two are given as 0 ohms. That means simply these two resistors are neglected. And the capacitor which is used for the charging and discharging, nothing but where the output is taken, that is C is given as 0 0.01 microfarad. And now using the UJT characteristics, find the amplitude of the sweep signal, the slope and displacement errors, the duration of the sweep and finally the recovery time. Okay, suppose if you see the circuit diagram of UJT relaxation oscillator or a sweep circuit, we will be having resistance and capacitance here. UJT with two resistors RB1 and RB2. RB1 in the downwards and this is RB2. This is VBB. Uh, sorry, we should not add these two. Mm, this is VYY. Okay, which is given as 50 volts here and it is given as 20 volts. This is 0 ohms and it is also 0 ohms. This is the capacitor which is used for taking the output and this is R. Okay, so initially let us assume that UJT is in off state. Okay, we are doing the first solution. Let UJT is in off state. UJT is in off state. What happens? Capacitor charges. So initially we are assuming that capacitor does not have any voltage across it. So transistor is said to be in off state. This is the emitter base to base 1. So transistor is said to be in off state. So simply what happens? Capacitor charges through the current flow from the VYY through R to the capacitor. So capacitor C charges. C charges. So what is the maximum voltage for the capacitor to charge up to 50 volts? Up to 50 volts. So charges up to VYY, nothing but 50 volts. Okay, so from the characteristics of UJT, we can observe that the UJT pitches on when VC is equal to just about 10.6 volts. So when VC is equal to 10.6 volts, this is an assumed value which is a standard value from the UJT characteristics. So the UJT turns on, turns on. So as long as the capacitor charges and when it reaches the voltage like 10.6 across this capacitor, that voltage is used to switch on this UJT, okay, which is somewhat higher voltage compared to the normal voltages. Okay. So, and then transistor comes into on state, so capacitor discharges. Okay, so and again, when it comes down to the minimum value, it again offs, it again off that voltage we are taking it as like a 2.8 volts. So, when capacitor discharges, down to like VC voltage voltage across capacitor is 2.8 volts then UJT again turns off okay so what happens now the peak voltage
therefore the peak voltage vp what is the maximum voltage what is the maximum voltage for the capacitor to charge up to 10.6 volts and the valley voltage and the valley voltage which is nothing but vv is equal to 2.8 volts vv is equal to 2.8 volts that thus the sweep amplitude is vs is equal to the difference between these two levels vp minus vv 10.6 minus 2.8 which is 7.8 volts this is what the sweep voltage suppose if you are drawing the output waveform you can understand why we have got like this this is the peak value vp and this is the valley voltage vv so capacitor initially charges from zero it goes up to this vv but it has to go up to vyy and discharges but discharges up to vy vv and again charges up to vp discharges up to vv and so on okay so charges up to vp and discharges up to vv this difference is taken as vs that is called as amplitude second one is we have peak to peak value of we have peak to peak value of sweep v is equal to v y y minus v v is equal to 50 minus 2.8 is equal to 47.2 volts for vs is equal to already we know which is vp minus vv that is equal to already calculated 10.6 minus 2.8 that is equal to 7.8 volts so sweep speed error vs is equal to vs by v that is equal to 7.8 by it is 47.2 volts that is equal to 16.5 percent that is slope error or sweep speed error another one is displacement error displacement error ed is equal to already we know the relation between these two ed is equal to es by 8 that is equal to 0.02 okay and coming to the third one where we need to calculate what is the c duration of the sweep so duration of the sweep duration or time period of the sweep so ts is equal to rc into natural logarithm of vyy minus vv this is we have calculated in the previous video minus vp so substitute each and everything 5 into 10 power 3 into c value 0 0.01 microfarad into ln of 50 minus 2.8 by 50 minus 10.6 that is equal to after simplification we will get ts is equal to 9 microseconds coming to the last one which is d you are asked to calculate the retrace time the retrace time indicated by tr retrace time indicated by tr already we know uh, sweep time and retrace time from the waveform see this is back flyback period or retrace period and this is rising period which is nothing but sweep time 
Ts. Okay. So retrace time is always calculated in terms of microseconds because it is very very small. It is given by the empirical relation. as Ts is equal to 2 plus 5c into Vb. You have to remember this formula 2 plus 5c into Vb. Okay, this is an empirical relation to calculate the retrace period. So, we are C here expressed in terms of microfarads. C expressed in terms of microfarad okay so now substitute that 2 plus 5c 5 into 0 0.01 into 2.8 that is equal to 5.74 microseconds this is what the sweep period is hope all the parameters we have calculated TR, sorry, TR, it is TR, not TS. TR is equal to, TR is equal to 2 plus 5C into VV. So, it is calculated as 5.74 microseconds, which is very, very small when compared to the sweep period. Okay. P value, we have taken it as 0 0.01 microfarads. Okay, so in this way you can calculate whatever the question asked in the problems. Thank you.